Developing independent learning habits is undoubtedly a challenge. Evidence tells us that building the explicit teaching of metacognition into our daily teaching habits can support pupils to think about their own learning more explicitly. Helping pupils to know what to do when faced with a learning challenge can lead to more independent learning behaviours. Adam is stuck. His teacher has asked him to complete a maths problem independently. He doesn't know where to begin, quickly loses motivation and becomes distracted. He lacks the confidence to know what to do next. Teachers can support learners like Adam to become more metacognitive in their thinking. Understanding and developing a shared language for the metacognitive process is a key factor in translating the evidence on metacognition into practice. Metacognitive knowledge refers to knowledge of task, the type of activity, knowledge of strategies, what strategies might be useful, and knowledge of self, awareness of our own abilities and emotions. Metacognitive regulation kicks in when we apply and adapt this knowledge to a learning task and can be broken down into three stages. Planning how we are going to tackle a task, monitoring our progress and adapting where necessary, and evaluation of our overall success. The arrows are key here, as this is a cyclical process. To understand the way in which teachers can support pupils to be metacognitive, it's useful to think about what this looks like in practice. Let's look at Adam's thoughts if he were to approach the question metacognitively. First, he will need to activate his knowledge of the task, strategies and self. Last time I solved a similar problem, I drew a visual representation to help me understand it. What are the different ways I could approach this? What are the advantages and disadvantages of these? I found this bit challenging last time. I'll need to take my time and check each step as I go. I'll use the available resources to help me if I get stuck. For many students, becoming a self-regulated learner does not happen automatically. Building in questioning habits that support self-regulation is an evidence-based best bet for supporting students to become more independent across the curriculum. The EEF's Supporting Independence Through Questioning tool offers a good starting point for teachers seeking to help pupils to plan, monitor and evaluate their learning. Asking Adam if he has seen a similar problem before will remind him to activate his prior knowledge. Inquiring about the steps he will need to take to be successful might prompt him to put a plan in place. Encouraging him to reflect on the success of his chosen approach could result in him trying a different one if needed. This would involve him returning to his plan and adapting it. Supporting Adam to evaluate the impact of his chosen approaches will help to ensure that his future learning develops because of the metacognitive process. Weaving metacognition teaching habits into our daily practice can help pupils like Adam to know what to do when faced with a new challenge. The EEF's Metacognition Guidance Report offers recommendations to support the implementation of metacognition in schools, which you can find alongside other teaching tools on our website, eef.li forward slash metacognition.